Good morning guys, welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. I am tired, as you can tell from my voice. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning and I'm just laying in bed editing a beauty video. So this is an Ulta slash Sephora haul that will be on my beauty channel by the time you guys watch this tonight. So I am about to upload my Sephora haul, I finished editing it, took a shower and everything, I left my hair straight but I did put dry shampoo in it today so I'm letting it soak up the oil and I thought I would multitask and package my orders for the day so I can drop those off. Then I'm headed to Ulta and I'm gonna meet up with Stephanie and have lunch with her and then we both volunteered for our girls Christmas party and it, they're both at like 1, 1 so I need to go pick up pizza for that and then go to the Christmas party and help the teacher run it, I guess. So Emmy doesn't know that I'm going, she's going to be really excited. It's 10 o'clock now, I'm trying to get out of here by like 10.30, so I really need to hurry. So I had these chocolates here and they freaking fell over, I'm so mad. They're like down here and I don't even know that I'm gonna be able to get all of them. And I don't want them to... Oh shoot, are you wearing shades? Yeah, hey! Look at you! <laughs> Hair's all blown out I know, good. I look good for the Christmas party. <laughs> trying to get these damn chocolates out of my car. One good thing though, I found my little Hello Kitty, Kitty mirror. I thought I'd lost it. It was down in the seat of my car. We're in Alamo Ranch uh, Las Palapas. I got the, mm, I don't know, some sort of combo plate. It has an enchilada, a taco, rice and beans, and some queso, and Steph got menudo and a big red, which I'm kind of jelly about. <laughs> We're at Ulta! I lost stuff. Oh, you know what? She said she was looking for a lotion. I bet you she's... Where is she? So I finally got my merchandise credit. I'm, uh, after about 30 minutes in line, they gave me money back for both of the things I wanted to return. So I'm really excited. Now I get to shop for free. <laughs> I was like that when you've already spent the money and you get to buy something else that you wanted to get. So um, Steph's telling, showing me all the new makeup that she's obsessed with. Oh, they don't have it out? No. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's pretty, oh, I love this color right here. You own this already? No. Oh, I'm surprised. I know. Well, I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, I want to get it. It's $35. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's calling out to you. So pretty. It's calling out to you. Like, <laughs> call your husband. <laughs> get approval. This is a Tartlet and Bloom palette. She's trying to convince me to get it, and I just got done decluttering. It's She's so an awful pretty. person to shop with. I am. Um, Awful. These are really pretty leave colors. With the Gwen Stefani palette. <laughs> I want to go look at that actually. <laughs> this so is pretty. a really pretty palette. I like this color and that shimmery brown. <laughs> but seriously, like, do I need this? No, I don't. She's trying to convince me that I need this palette. I already have this one in my hand. <laughs> so, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. Isn't it beautiful? They were round. Oh, I don't, look at the beauty. Look what it says right here. Magic's in the makeup. <laughs> The packaging's the pretty. The packaging's beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're nuts. Come on, swatch it. It's beautiful. Swatch it. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't wear these four colors right here. Oh, then so, you're not going to get it. <laughs> and then I'm not going to get it. Because if you look at and it's $58. If you look at the rest of it, I just picked it up. Yeah. That's the rest of it right there. It's so pretty. She's an enabler. It's, it's a problem. <laughs> Every time we come together. She's an awful enabler. You guys asked me where you could get bio oil. Here's some of it here in Ulta. I got mine online, it's cheaper, but you can get it here. I need another. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> not that close though, not that close. <laughs> I told her, I told Steph, I said, yeah, now you know how I feel when I'm looking all cray in your freaking Snapchat and I have to watch it later during the day. Now she knows how I feel because I'm looking rough in most of her Snapchats, and she's like, don't show me. Boom, there you are. <laughs> oh, I have to give Steph credit. She's buttering up her husband to get what she wants from Ulta. <laughs> Leaving Ulta, got some good stuff. I ended up, I'll do a little haul when I get home, but I got a few things, mainly the stuff that Steph made me buy. And then she got to go ahead and got her is it the Anastasia? What is it called? Yeah, the self-made palette. Self-made palette. We're about to get run over. So she's super excited. And she got some hand cream, so 
now we are both headed to oh our hands. little girls Christmas parties and then I won't get to see her all over the holidays oh, no. she's leaving <laughs> leaving me say bye to the vlog look they're behind us oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry She's probably like, what in the world are those girls doing? Say bye! Bye! <laughs> so that was fun. I always like hanging out with stuff. So now I'm headed to Little Caesars to pick up pizzas. I hope I make it on time because her party's at 1.45 and it's 1.17 right now. So I probably won't vlog too much. Maybe I'll just vlog Emmy, just like short clips, just because like I said, it's she's in kindergarten. It's Her class is full of minor children that I don't really want to record, especially if there's other parents there and stuff. But anyway, I'll see what I can get. So I'm I'm gonna hustle because, uh, yeah, I don't have very much time. I need to go pick up the pizzas and then make it all the way back to her school on time. So I better get going. Pizzas are tucked safely in the back seat. Now I just have to rush to her school. Say hi, Mama. What are you doing? I didn't make Yeah, and you're eating pizza. Got a feast over there, huh? You got pizza, Cheetos, grapes, cookie, and a cookie. Whoa. Just got home from the Christmas party. She's finishing up the food that she had, and um, it's kind of loud in here because we're cutting and the TV's on. But I wanted to show you guys some of the things that she got in her little bag. So here's one of her bags that had her name. They got to decorate it. Here's another bag that has her name. And did you get to paint this stocking? You drew? Did you color that stocking? Uh, it's a marker, yes. Oh, okay. And then um, one of her teachers got her this. The other teacher got them this. So that was really sweet. But I'm really glad. I didn't get pencils because so far we're already up to four pencils and look at all these erasers so I'm glad so far so good we didn't get pencils um, and the teacher did tell me she was able to get one of look and here's some more pencils she was able to get one of the blocks to each of the kids so she was able to give Emmy an E and then she gave her a G but she said she was able to get each child their letter so that was really exciting and look here's some more pencils you're going to have pencils for ever, Mama. And some more erasers. See, I'm so glad I didn't go with that. And then look. I know, it's so cute. So it's, it's an ornament of her hand that are made into snowmen. And I'm so excited. It says Emily Kinder 2015. And it has this really cute little saying on it. Oh, I just love it. Thank you, baby. Had a long day, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a long day in pajamas and having Christmas parties. Maddie, did you have a good day at school? Did you have a good day at school? Yes. Yeah? Maddie. What did you do? Did you see Santa? Yes. Maddie, Maddie, look at Aurora up there. Did you see Aurora? Yeah, she's on top of the fridge. Crazy elf, how'd she get there? Watching Dora in Spanish again. Mm. I want you want to do do Dora? I want to do Dora. Let me see, Maddie. Oh yeah, no, I see those toys, but do you got new slippers on? Yes. Let me see them. Ooh, who's on the slipper? Ariel. Ariel. Yeah. Oh. And I have my my little pony. Mm-hmm. Well, they're upstairs. You didn't want to wear them? Mm. No. I bad, bad. Mommy, <clears throat> then what are we <clears throat> gonna do with these ones? What? Hey, excuse you. Don't touch mommy's phone. What are we gonna do got with these ones? Mm-hmm. Say that Um I don't when we open up the little people thing we'll have to play with it later. Okay? Mommy people or mm -hmm. not the big castle, mommy? Not tonight, though. It's already late. Maybe tomorrow, Mommy? Maybe. Maybe. Good night. Good night. 
Then. Not light. Oh. Then. Not light. Get out. Baby. I was reading all the comments and everyone loves the fact that you vlogged. Did you have fun? Mm, no. Come on! This is what I get, everybody. <laughs> One word answers. <laughs> no commentary. When the camera shuts off, I can't get him to be quiet. But when the camera's on, he acts like he can't speak a word. Stop it! <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna punch you in your Please face. help. <laughs> Don't be dramatic. If you see me blink twice, please call the cops. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> that was so mean! Take that back! Take it back! That was not nice. I'm not mean to you. <laughs>
program because it was already too late when we enrolled her in the, the elementary school that she's at. So I don't know if we're going to try and get her into that, but I would love for them to learn Spanish. Especially being in San Antonio, it's a great asset to have. Natalie Moreno asks, do the girls have different bedtimes? Love you and your videos. Thank you, Natalie. That's super sweet. I love hearing y'all's comments. Like, even though I'm reading them to myself, I just think they're so sweet. Oh, and I'm not naked, by the way. I have a tank top on, but... It looks like my bra. So the girls do not have different bedtimes. They go to bed at the exact same time unless we have like a special event. Like for instance, New Year's is coming up. The last two years, Maddie has not made it till midnight and Emmy makes it till midnight and pops fireworks and stuff like that. So Maddie has gone to bed and Emmy stays up. So if we have a special event or if we have a lot of people over for whatever, Halloween, Maddie ended up going to bed a little earlier than everyone else. I mean, you know, she's younger, it is what it is, but on a day-to-day -day basis, Maddie goes down first, like we all gather in Maddie's room, and we sing, say our prayers and everything, tuck Maddie in, then we go to Emmy's room, we tuck her in, so, I mean, within minutes, but for the most part, they try, and, we try and get them to bed between 7 and 7.30, not much later than 7.30 even, like today's Friday, it's 8 o'clock and they've been in bed for about half an hour already. So I'm a very firm believer in keeping your children on a good sleep schedule because if you don't, lots of things can suffer. Their attitude, their whole demeanor, their learning capability the next day in school, um, just a lot of things can suffer. And so I, I firmly believe in children getting an, enough sleep and tomorrow we have a super long day. So I want them to be prepared. Stephanie Joby, love your vlogs, but I was wondering what the machine is in Maddie's room. Does she need it to sleep? Thank you. So, um, yeah, that machine is actually a sound machine. We got it for, as a baby, um, baby shower gift before she was born. And at first we didn't use it. She slept in her crib just fine but we started to over the months use it because we noticed she was a very light sleeper and if she didn't have some sort of background noise like things are, we would have to be quiet around the house and stuff like that and I wanted her to be the type of child that could sleep under any type of dress so whether it be noise um, you know lots of activities stuff like that pure darkness with the nightlight like I, d I wanted her to have a lot of variations when she slept so she slept with the white noise since I don't know maybe she was like six months old and now I do find that she needs some sort of noise to sleep because if she doesn't have the noise it's almost like she can't fall asleep so anytime we've gone on vacation we even when we went camping we even took the sound machine like it just has it's become part of her nightly routine I guess Diana Ariano does your family follow any sports or sports teams? No, thank goodness. We are not a very big sports family. I can admit that I do like to watch the occasional football game, like, you know, for Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday and stuff like that. I do like to watch... Um, I've been into soccer lately just because Emmy has been into soccer. We do watch when the Olympics and stuff are on or like a basketball game. San Antonio Spurs have done well the last however many years when they go to championship whatever it's called so we'll watch you know have a basketball party or whatever and watch the games stuff like that but for the most part we're not a big sports family and like I said I'm grateful because any of you that have husbands that like sports football basketball whatever you know how crazy it can be when they want to watch their game and I'm so grateful that on the desk does not like sports. Steffi264, in one of your previous vlogs, you were talking about going back to work versus being at home with your girls. My husband and I had to make I had to make a similar decision. I had to live on much and a much stricter budget, but we make it work. Have you ever considered spending less money on wants or luxuries in order to be at home more with your girls? I have also used the envelope plan from David Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, to slowly save up for those things that I really want. Have you ever thought of doing something like that? I have. Uh, it was definitely, like, even now, my back is not getting better, and I'm very apprehensive about going back to work and hurting myself even more. And and I think, too, because I've been doing a lot of editing and a lot of, like, laying down and slumping over and stuff, That's it's been hurting my back even more the last several weeks. And so it's been giving me even more anxiety about it. We have kind of crunched the numbers and figured out if maybe I could stay home, you know, based on 
the income that we do have coming in and I I really don't think we could make it work even giving up the wants and the luxuries and stuff like that you know it would be more about um, bigger fixes like I would have to drive a different car which that's not a problem at all I could but I can't get out of my lease um, you know we our mortgage would have to go down a little bit but it's we've owned the house for six years so I wouldn't want to refinance you know it's just I don't know I, I guess it's just um, things in our lives that we have set ourselves up for for a two income family um, or at least a larger than what income we have right now family and that's not how we've set up our lives because I never intended to be a stay-at-home mom I've just been spoiled the last several months because I have been able to be at home but if you really think about it I'm not a stay-at-home mom because both my girls are in school Emmy still I mean Emmy's in kindergarten but Maddie still goes to her preschool slash daycare and so I'm not a true stay-at-home mom because if I were, Maddie would be home with me every day and she's not. So I think we would really, really have to cut back on more than just wants and luxuries to achieve being a stay-at-home mom. And maybe that's something, I mentioned this before, that we would work towards in the future. But unfortunately right now it's not something that is feasible for us. So even though I've thought about it and I would love to do it, it would definitely be something we'd have to plan for in the future. Adeseli Trimble, love, love, love your family. I was wondering what time do the girls start and finish school? I have a five-year-old and she's only in school for three hours a day. Well, thank you, Adeseli. Um, maybe she's in a preschool or like a pre-K because they go like a partial day. So Maddie, because she's in a preschool, but her day, it's a daycare facility also, she can be there from 6.30 in the morning till 6 p.m. at night. We don't. We drop her off around 8 and pick her up around 4 or 5. That's just the way our schedule has worked out. Emmy is in school. She has to be there by 7.45 and she has to be picked up by 2.45 and she does have after school care. And in after school care, she can be picked up as late as 6.30. So they have really long days at school. Melissa919. Hey, Melissa. So my two-year-old, who is only two months older than Maddie, will actually sit and watch your vlogs with me. LOL. And she really enjoys your girls. The cutest thing. Oh, that's super cute. I was really impressed when I saw how neatly Maddie ate. And I looked at my little girl, Sophia, and said, hey, how come you can't sit like that neat baby? Anywho, any tips and tricks on how to get her to eat without food getting all over the place? So pretty much with Maddie, we just really taught her control with her utensils because with that young of a child, it's very easy for them to lose control of their utensils and food gets everywhere. Maddie does have a habit sometimes, especially if she gets a little overzealous, to let, use her fingers instead of her spoon or her fork. And when that happens, she's picking up her food and trying to put it in her mouth. It sometimes does spill all over the place, but she's getting better and better as time goes on. It's just a reminder, Maddie, and I tend to snap a lot when I talk to my children. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm like, Maddie, mommy said use your fork, or what are you doing? You know, I just, I get after her without getting after her. It's not something that we punish for, but it is something that is corrected, so we don't let her continue to um, play with her food, and you know, like Andres was saying yesterday when I wasn't here, that she ha had her spoon and had her broccoli and applesauce, and went like that to her hair so she had broccoli and applesauce all in her hair so it's definitely not 100 percent neat for her all the time but let me tell you something too that girl loves to eat she loves food and so when especially if it's if you're giving her something that she likes to eat she'll gobble it up she really doesn't have a problem with that so my biggest thing is just um correction with your utensils and make sure you are having her use her utensils and correcting her behavior when she tries to grab with her fingers and hopefully that helps you a little bit maybe offer her some assistance as well and you know say can mommy help you you know to get the food where it belongs and over time she'll get better and better those are all the questions for yesterday's vlog I know I didn't answer any questions from the day before um, but I will continue to integrate some of those questions as time goes on if you have any additional questions don't forget to leave them in the comments down below I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you tomorrow bye